In the first waves lesson, we talked about how an electromagnetic or EM wave is traveling oscillating electric and magnetic fields. Because these oscillating electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to the wave's velocity, EM waves are transverse waves. And unlike mechanical waves, EM waves do not require medium. EM waves can travel through vacuum, so electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiations given off by the sun can reach the Earth through the vast vacuum in between. The theory of EM waves was developed by Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell in 1865. By combining four important laws of electromagnetism and adding his own insights, he predicted that electric and magnetic fields can oscillate and travel through space together as waves. The four laws are Gauss's law, which is related to Coulomb's law. Basically, it says that electric field lines originate from positive charges and terminate on negative charges. Gauss's law for magnetism. Because there are no isolated magnetic monopoles, no isolated north or south poles for magnetic field lines to originate from or to terminate on, magnetic field lines always form closed loops. Faraday's law of induction. A changing magnetic field can induce an EMF and hence an electric field. And the Ampere's law with Maxwell's modification. This law states that magnetic field can be generated by electric current. This is the original Ampere's law. And the magnetic field can be generated by changing electric field. This part is Maxwell's modification. Because changing magnetic field can induce electric field, and the changing electric field can induce magnetic field, we can have self-sustaining EM waves traveling through empty space. Another surprising result of Maxwell's work on EM wave is that his EM wave equation showed that all EM waves traveling through empty space at the same speed, V equals to 1 over square root of epsilon naught times mu naught, which is the speed of all EM waves in vacuum, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. It's a special speed, and we use lowercase c for this speed. When you hear people say that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, they mean this speed, the speed of light in vacuum. There are many types of EM waves. From the longest wavelengths, we have radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Within the visible light, from the longest to the shortest wavelengths, we have Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Because wave speed equals to frequency times the wavelength, and all EM waves have the same speed in vacuum, the longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency. Therefore, in this spectrum, the long wavelength side also corresponds to low frequency and short wavelength high frequency. For AP Physics course, you do not have to know the wavelength or frequency range for each of these waves, but you should know the order of these waves in the EM spectrum. For example, you should know that uh, X-rays have higher frequencies than microwaves, and the red light has longer wavelengths than blue light. You should also know that visible light has wavelengths that are about a few hundred nanometers, about 700 nanometers to 400 nanometers.